Well hello tubers, BTHV1 here. Today I'm going to change out my battery. Uh, about four years ago I left the lights on at the airport for two full weeks. So uh, the result is a gradually degrading battery. It was a really good one, but it is, it is more than uh, it is more than five years old, so I guess I, it's time. But anyway, it has been slowly degrading since I left the lights on for two weeks. It was just dead flat. So anyway, we are going to disconnect the battery. I don't know if I can use a socket to get in there. So we are going to use a small 5 16 wrench. In fact, I might be able to use my little... There we go. Hey! And I guess I should do the negative first, like they say in the, in the book. And I'll take off my good coat. Naturally, the first thing I do in the garage is ruin all my good clothes. To the point where I don't have any good clothes. Now, there will be a clamp down in here, somewhere holding the battery in. or it's hard to see whether it's metric on this truck it's a 98 so it looks like a 13 mil yep the bolt that holds the battery in and then there should be a little plate that holds the edge of the battery there's a beveled edge on the battery there it is that holds the beveled edge of the battery down so she should come up. Excuse me. So this is the old battery. And the new battery has this cover on, which we don't need. And it also comes with the universal posts at the top, which I don't like. Even though it probably comes clean, I'm going to just give it a little brush with a, a brash brush. First, I'm going to put this cover on. And then I'm going to get this handle off of here. Now I'm going to get my voltmeter and check the voltage of this battery before I stick it in. It should be about 12 volts. They put some charge into them. 
looks really good. Get my polarity right even though it's not a polarity sensitive meter. 12.72 and the voltage of the battery that I'm taking out is 12.223 I guess. And now I'm going to put just a small amount of grease on that battery post. Nothing's easy to find. So now we'll take the camera back. Still recording. Just going to give the existing connections a bit of a clean, although they look good. This is just an opportunity to get it right. And now we'll set the battery in. And now the bolt that holds it in. Oh, that always happens. Magnet. Magnet with a light on it. Hey! Let's try it again. I should probably lower it in there with the magnet. onto the battery because the insulator oh yeah we are a lot of people say to heck with it when they put this battery clamp in but if you ever hit a big bump or have an accident your battery is this way it's tied down heaven forbid right <clears throat> put the positive one up first I guess I should just check the threads on that They look good. <coughs> Gotta get some put a little grease on the connections again. There, now I need a magnet to find my flashlight. Nope. Okay, so we get the grease out of here, get the socket set out of here. And we'll get this started. We'll use the regular wrench for the first few clicks. It's a 5 16 Like I said earlier, these trucks are, are famous for having half metric and half standard. Okay, now we're going to... Good. Now we're going to see a small spark when I hook up the negative lead. There it is. Get it started. 
started with the little little wrench and then the big one or the ratchet wrench and there we go now the voltage was 12.7 when I installed it now with the hood open and some lights on it should drop a tiny bit Twelve point three eight. Still a little tight or loose. Mm -hmm. Good. Sorry about that. Now the ultimate test is to start the truck up. Make sure there's nothing in there. And success.